Okay, so I'm going to trust that you have found a book or a story of some sort that you've read. It could be one that you've read before. It doesn't really matter. Um, or it could be, you know, something short that you've read, you know, just recently. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it's some kind of a small book. Like I said, it can even be a children's book. Now, what you're going to do is if you can print this page out, that would be great because it'd be easier to fill in for you. But if you can't, that's okay too. You, you can write it on paper. I want to, I know you said it's easier when it's big, but I want to show you the whole thing right quick. So after reading the book that you have found, you're going to fill in all this stuff. This is an outline, okay? So the title of the book, the author, when and where, you know, just if, if you just simply don't know, just put don't know or just put an X or something there. But if you have a pretty good guess, then put that there. Um, characters, their ages. What's the conflict? What's the problem in the book? What's the force against it? Now, the force against it's going to be the the force, or the it could be a person, it could be a force, it could be an internal force. It's something that's causing the character not to be able to do what they want to do, or making them do what they don't want to do. So it's some kind of a force that's causing it. Like I said, it could be insecurity. It could be something within them. Or it could be a bully. Or it could be their parents. Or it could be whatever. But you're going to have to figure out what's the force against this. Now, then you're going to write the climax or the turning point. In the book, in the story, what is the point where everything starts to change? Kind of going downhill from there. That's the climax. That's the that's the point that everything just it comes everything comes to a head right there. And the resolution is basically how does the book end? Okay? So you're just going to fill this out for your book. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you this. This page is the next page in the book. He says to use your outline that you just wrote to take 2 days to write a paper, a summary of the book. Now here's a summary of a book that he had. Okay, so he wants you to read this and I'm not going to read it to you. You can read that this is his summary. Notice it's three paragraphs. Uh, you can do yours however, but read through his so you'll kind of understand it. Okay, and then uh, the rest of it is just if you want to print these out and put your paper on it, you can. But that's all you have to do is you have to fill this out, then you're going to write a summary very similar to his summary here of the book that you chose or the story that you chose. Okay, so this will be your only um, video or this will be the last video for this. So, you know, take two or three days uh, to turn this in. Just turn it in as soon as you can. Let me know that you've finished it. If you need help, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, this page is going to help you the most. Okay? And if you haven't found a story, let me know that too. And maybe I can supply you with one. Okay? All right. That'll be all for the week.